Dear students, uh, in this section you will find the pair of linear equations in two variables. Okay, so first of all you should know what is a linear equation. You know in class 9th standard you got this one. The linear equation is of the pattern twice x plus y is equal to 0. This is a linear equation in one two variables. Also you got, got this one say x plus 7 is equal to 0 this is also a linear equation but this is in one variable the variable is here only x and here the variables are x and y okay so now why do we say this type of equations are linear equations because you know the power of this variable variable or variables are respectively 1 and 1 and in this equation this is the 1 so this is linear equation in variable two variables or in one variable okay so these type of equations uh, can be represented in general form like this ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 okay where obviously uh, these uh, coefficients a b and the independent constant c a b c belongs belong to the set of real numbers means they are the real numbers okay they are real numbers not only that there is one condition also not both of them simultaneously the coefficients of x and y will be equal to zero and in short we can write that a square plus b square is not is equal to zero these two conditions are very important again i say that the uh, linear equation in two variables can be represented by this uh, general form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero where a b c are uh, real numbers and uh, um, not both of the uh, coefficients simultaneously will be equal to zero the condition to write this or represent this form is a square plus b square is not is equal to zero one thing uh, earlier you learned in ninth standard also that uh, uh, you have also studied uh, that the solution of such an equation is a pair of one for x and other for y isn't it you can get infinitely many solutions from these uh, linear equation in two variables so for example if i take an equation say Mm, uh, twice x plus 3 y is equal to 5 we want to take an example twice x plus 3 y is equal to 5 this is a linear equation in two variables variables are respectively x and y uh, you may say this is not in the standard form obviously this is in the standard form you have to just take this 5 on left side of this equality so that the equation will be twice x plus 3 y minus 5 is equal to 0 so that here a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to minus 5 okay now it is an example now we want to substitute substitute x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 so that on lhs if you put these values you will get 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 okay so that this is 2 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and you will see that on RHS that, that there is also 5. So the RHS and LHS both are equal. So you can say that a, this x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 are the solutions, are the solutions, solutions of the uh, given equation twice x plus 3 y is equal to 5. On the other hand, we can take another example. Uh, if you substitute, suppose. Uh, in other way you substitute x is equal to say 1 x is equal to 1 and y is equal to say 5 okay so it's lhs again the lhs is twice x plus 3y so 2x means 2 into 1 plus 3y means 3 into 5 so that you are getting here 2 into 1 2 and 3 5 is a 15 so 15 plus 2 is equal to 17 is it your rhs no this is not the rhs in rhs there is only 5 so this is not actually the RHS. So you have to write that uh, the, uh, we do not get the uh, LHS uh, with respect to its RHS. So uh, the RHS and LHS are not equal. We can conclude that this X is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 5 are not, are not the solution or the solution of the given so given equation uh, twice x plus 3y plus is equal to 5 okay now 
actually it is important geometrically geometrically what does this mean actually it means that the point 1 comma 1 this is this comma 1 comma 1 lies on the line if i draw a line for this equation twice x plus 3y is equal to 5 an arbitrary line i want to draw say this is the arbitrary line i don't know what type of line will it be whether it will cut the axis or y axis we don't know this is just uh, run arbitrarily now since x equal to 1 y is equal to 1 are the solution of the given equation twice x plus 3 y is equal to 5 it indicates that these two values or the uh, solution will be on this line so this is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 is a solution of the equation and this point 1 comma 1 will lie on this line and on the other hand x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 5 are not the solution of the given equation for this this point that is 1 comma 5 will not be on this line 1 comma 5 will be outside of this line this is the geometrical geometrical meaning of the equation and its solution so each solution uh, from this one each solution um, x comma y uh, of a of a linear equation of this pattern x plus b y plus c is equal to zero corresponds to a point on the line corresponding to the equation and obviously vice versa okay now in the next we shall start the graphical method of rep representation of linear equation now in the previous section you got one line one one word is used this is pair of linear equation now what does it actually indicate pair means two two linear equations two linear equations in two variables the variables will be the same so the uh, pattern will be obviously ax plus by plus c is equal to zero since you have to take two linear equations so uh, we have to change the constants real numbers a1 b1 and c1 another will get a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to zero so the general form of the pair of linear equations in two variables x and y is like this where a1 b1 c1 obviously you have to write a1 b1 c1 and a2 comma b2 comma c2 are all the real numbers are all real numbers it means they are belonging to the set of real numbers okay not only that uh, the uh, coefficients of x and y will not be simultaneously at a time equal to zero that means a1 square plus b1 square is not is equal to zero and here also we have to write a2 square plus b2 square is not is equal to zero okay now we uh, can we take an example to represent this one okay first of all what is uh, what type of graphical representation uh, will have this pair of linear equation we shall take the first condition okay and um, uh, simultaneously we take the examples to represent uh, represent both of them okay we want to take two examples linear equation in two variables uh, say uh, the first uh, equation is twice x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and the equation say x plus 3 y plus 2 is equal to 0 okay now what is the what are the coefficients of x in both the equations first one gets 2 and second one gets 1 nothing is written means the coefficient of x is 1 so if i want to write i actually i want to write the ratio of these coefficients a1 upon a2 another one is b1 upon b2 okay so from these equations from these two given equations we can write 2 divided by 1 because the coefficient of x is here 2 and the coefficient of x is here 1 so this is 2 upon 1 and another way b1 by b2 b1 is the coefficient of y here it is 1 and the coefficient of y in the second equation is 3 so ratio is 1 by 3 now 2 by 1 is not any way is equal to 1 upon 3 they are not equal that means if a1 by a2 is not is equal to b1 by b2 then 
the actually this pair of linear equation will always be a straight be, be straight lines okay so these two uh, uh, lines will intersect that means they are intersecting intersecting lines okay very important step if a1 by a2 is not is equal to b1 by b2 then the lines this pair of linear equations are intersecting lines and uh, when they will intersect at a particular point then uh, we will have only one solution so you have to write only one solution okay only one solution and uh, if you get only one solution that is um, they are intersecting you are getting the solution not only only one solution maybe several types of solutions if you get solution then this type of uh, solution is known as consistent so consistent pair of linear equations and the drawing will be near about like this uh, if I draw approximately uh, then uh, these two lines the pair of lines will intersect at some point and obviously this is this point is the solution of the two uh, pair of linear equations so you will get a particular solution as for example i take say this is p comma q p comma q are the general solution for both the lines both the pair of linear equations first of all they are intersecting lines only one solution will be found and they are consistent so now I want to show actually whether they will uh, uh, intersect uh, at, uh, at a single point or not. So the equations are respectively twice x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 y plus 2 is equal to 0. Remind these two. Okay. So in graphing section, I have uh, taken this one. So first equation is twice x. This is twice x plus uh, y plus 1 y plus 1 is equal to 0 okay this is written so this is the this, this one is the first equation this is the first equation and you observe that this green colored line this is a green colored line and this is twice x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and another line i want to draw this is x plus 3y 3y plus 2 plus 2 is equal to zero so you obviously uh, watching that the um, blue color line and the green color lines are intersecting at this point this point so this is actually the solution point is it clear that these two lines are intersecting because a1 by a2 is not is equal to b1 by b2 for these these two lines are intersecting to each other okay so go to the next phase okay so second condition for graph graphical representation is uh, we want to take two other examples um, say twice x uh, plus twice x plus 3y twice x say twice x plus y plus 3 is equal to 0 another one is say 4x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 okay now what are the coefficients of x they are respectively 2 and 4 find the ratio 2 upon 4 and uh, the coefficients of y are respectively 1 and 2 this is in the simplest form not only that you have to find out the ratio of the constants 3 and 6 so 3 upon 6 now cancel uh, this you are getting 2 and 2 and 2 to the 4 this is 1 by 2 uh, in the list form and this is 3 1 to 3 and 3 to the 6 so you are getting here 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 means all the ratios are equal means a 1 by a 2 is equal to b 1 by b 2 is equal to c 1 by c 2 obviously this came from the linear equations into variables i want to write the equations again a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0 isn't it so here you are getting a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 if these conditions occurs then you should remember that the pair of 
two lines the pair of these two lines will pair of lines will be coincident first line will be like the second one is overlapping on it you may think that uh, this may not happen i shall show in graphing section that they will coincide to each other so obviously these two lines are coincident lines so you have to write coincident coincident lines okay these two lines are coincident second is there since these two lines are overlapping on each other so each and every point is a solution so you are getting infinitely infinitely many solutions many solutions okay so you are getting infinitely many solutions not only that since you were getting the solutions for this 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 pair of linear equations are consistent so you have to write consistent okay next is i uh, want to show the graphical views of these graphs first one is minded this is twice x plus y is equal to 3 is equal to z twice x plus y plus 3 is equal to 0 another one is 4x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 so in graphing section okay so first equation i want to write twice x twice x plus y plus 3 y plus 3 is equal to 0 so this is the line the black line is the equation uh, is the line for the equation twice x plus y is e plus 3 is equal to 0 another line is another equation is 4 i 4x plus 2y plus 6 you see that these two lines are coincident the black and blue lines are coincident for this the color is changed and i have written two of the equations and no other line is drawn here only one single line is drawn for these these two lines are coincident means each and every point is touching to each other and you are getting infinitely many solutions and these power of linear equations are consistent okay next i want to show the another graphing section third graphing section is again i want to write the pair of linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 okay now i want to take two examples x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 and twice x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, what are the coefficients 1 and 2? So, write 1 and 2, and here 3 and 6, so 3 upon 6, 1 and 5 are the constants, 1 upon 5, this is in list form, the 1 by 2 is also list form, 3 1s are 3, and 3 2s are 6, this is half, and this is also half, so they are equal, but half is not is equal to 1 fifth anyway, so this is not equal to 1 fifth. So you are getting a1 by a2 so what are you getting a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but no way no way this is equal to c1 by c2 so in this case the pair of linear equations will give you two parallel lines okay two parallel lines these two are parallel lines okay so we can conclude they are parallel lines parallel lines and uh, since they are parallel so they will not intersect they will not overlap so there is no solution there is no solution moreover since you are not getting any solution they are inconsistent inconsistent so in graphing section i am showing the graph okay so uh, keep in mind that x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 another one is twice x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to 0 they will be parallel okay in graphing section so the first graph is x plus x plus 3y 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the first equation second equation is 4 x twice x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to 0 okay twice x plus 6y 6y plus 5 is equal to 0 
Okay, so observe carefully. There are two lines created and both the lines are parallel to each other. No way they will intersect or overlap. So you are not getting any solution from these two pair of linear equations. And uh, they are obviously inconsistent. Okay, is it clear? Okay, go to the screen. So now, algebraic method, we want to show the algebraic method to find the solution. The graphical method is very clear to you. And now we want to show the algebraic methods of uh, finding the solutions of, of linear equations. Okay, there are three types of um, algebraic methods. First method I want to show, the first method I write, this is substitution method. Okay, substitution, substitution method. Second one is second one is elimination method. Elimination elimination method. And the third one is cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication. These are the algebraic method called cross multiplication method. Okay. So first of all, we shall start with this first one. This is substitution method. For this, we want to take two um, equations, pair of linear equations. Say first equation is x plus y is equal to 16. Another one is uh, x minus y is equal to 4. Okay. What is the naming given here? The naming is given substitution. That means you have two variables. One variable will be substituted by the other. And then you will find the solutions for x and y. So from first of all from the equation 1. From equation 1 we have. Suppose we want to substitute y by x. So from, y, from equation 1 y is equal to minus x plus 16 okay use this value in the equation 2 so from from equation 2 equation 2 we have now this is x minus y so x minus y what is y y is equal to minus x plus 16 okay this is equal to this is equal to 4 right side is equal to 4 okay from here you can write x plus x minus 16 is equal to 4 so this is twice x is equal to 20 therefore x is equal to 20 divided by 2 that is 10 okay you got the first value of x and next you have to find out the second value of the second variable so for this uh, you, you can use this value x is equal to 10 in any one of the uh, given equations so from we take from equation say one again from one okay so what does it this is x plus y is equal to 16 so x is equal to 10 plus y is equal to 16 so y is equal to 16 16 minus 10 so you are getting 6 so the solutions are what are the solutions x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 6 so these are the solutions for the uh, set of linear equation, pair of linear equations, x plus y is equal to 16 and x minus y is equal to 4. This is the first method, substitution method. Next is elimination method. Elimination method, okay. Elimination method. So we want to take the same example again. Um, what are the examples x plus y is equal to 16 and x minus y is equal to 4 okay this is the first equation second equation so elimination method this uh, term is quite clear elimination means uh, out of these two variables you have to eliminate any one of the variable so that you can take the value of the other variable okay first of all you see that the coefficient of y is plus one here in the second equation the coefficient of y is minus one so if you add this both the equations then the y's will be cancelled eliminated so that you are getting the values of x so adding so adding equation equations equations one and two okay so that you will get on left side that means left side will be added this left side will be added to 
and the right, right side will be added separately. So x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 16 plus 4, isn't it? So you observe carefully y is cancelled. So x plus x is equal to y is x, 20. Therefore, x is equal to 20 divided by 2. This is 10. So any, in any one of the equation, you can put the value of x a in 2 into you just put the uh, value. So in the equation 2, um, if you put the value of x is equal to 10, so this is 10 minus y is equal to 4 or y is equal to 10 minus 4. So uh, result is 6. So the solutions are x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 6. So the solutions. This is the method of elimination. Last method is very important. So observe carefully. I want to also show the last method but with a different example. If I take this example, okay, you may understand the result will be x is equal to 10, y is equal to 6. Better I do with the same example. Okay, the last, uh, last method is cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication multiplication method. Okay, cross multiplication method. Again, you take the same examples x plus y is equal to 16 and x minus y is equal to 4. Okay, this is number 1, this one is number 2. But in this case, I <clears throat> always suggest that you make these patterns in the standard form. What is the standard form? x plus b y plus c is equal to 0. That means right, make the right side 0 and uh, whatever you want to write, write on the left side of equality. So from equation 1, you are getting x plus y minus 16 is equal to 0 and from uh, equation 2, you get x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. These are two equations created, 3 and 4, but they are same. But answers different, that is in the standard form. Okay. So now uh, you have to understand the cross multiplication method. What are the coefficients? This, these coefficients are very important. You just observe that coefficients are respectively 1, 1. That is the coefficient of x is 1, coefficient of x is 1. Here the coefficient of y is 1, coefficient of y is minus 1. So 1, minus 1. And the independent constants are minus 16 and minus 4. Okay. This uh, pattern is created. Okay. This pattern is created. Now you have to write using cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication, multiplication method. The method, when you apply this method, you have to follow some system. First of all, you have to write x upon something and the second y upon something and 1 divided by some measure. Okay, there will be a minus sign, there will be a minus sign, there will be another minus sign. Okay, in before minus, there will be some number after that you will get number so what numbers will be given in the parenthesis you observe carefully so this is the starting point okay this is the starting point and this is the ending point also from these since this is the cross multiplication method cross multiplication method you have to cross multiply in this pattern okay in this way this is the cross multiplication method 1 into minus 4 what will you get 1 into minus 4 is equal to minus 4 okay minus 4 1 into minus 4 is minus 4 written in this parenthesis minus as usual and in the second bracket minus 1 into minus 16 you have to follow the arrow minus 1 into minus 16 that is equal to only 16 okay now your pan is here in minus 16 so when you want to calculate for y then this column will be stopped this column is for y this is these are the coefficients of y so minus 16 in the same way you have to cross minus 16 into 1 okay minus 16 into 1 that is equal to minus 16 this minus is from formula in the second parenthesis you have to 
cross multiply from minus 4 to 1. Minus 4 into 1 is equal to minus 4. So now you are in this position when you are calculating for constant. So this constant part will be absent. You don't think this is in your system. Just cross multiply. Your position is from this one. So you have to cross multiply from it to this box. Okay. 1 into minus 1. 1 into minus 1 is equal to minus 1. Then 1 into 1. Okay. So the 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So in this pattern, you see that I have finished here. The, uh, this is the ending point. So starting and ending are the same point. This point is the starting and ending point. So now you just calculate. This is x upon minus 4 minus 16. That is minus 20. And uh, this one is y upon minus 16 plus 4. That is equal to minus 12 minus 12 okay minus 16 plus 4 is equal to minus 12 and 1 upon this is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so you take first of all these two then you have to compare with this two also so from the from this one from the first one x by x by minus 20 is equal to 1 upon minus 2 so x is equal to minus 20 divided by minus 2 so getting 10 and from the second two that means y divided by minus 12 is equal to 1 upon minus 2 so here you are getting y is equal to minus 12 divided by minus 2 that is equal to 6 are they the solutions x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 6 obviously in the previous section also that is in uh, your other method that means in elimination method also you got the results x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 6 and also in the cross multiplication method also you got x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 6 so this is the method for cross multiplication for the linear equation um, here of linear equation so you have learned the methods of linear equations and their solutions in algebraic method also to find the solutions graphically so many uh, examples are uh, uh, solved here so in the next session you will find many more questions will be solved from the ncrt and also